بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ان آر لاسٹ سیشن وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ امپلائیز وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک اٹ لٹل بٹ فارورڈ وٹ وی سا ان دا لاسٹ سیشن واز از دیٹ دیر آر ون فورٹی نائن لیبر لاز ان پاکستان مینی آر اوور لیپنگ مینی آر کانٹرڈکٹری مینی آر ایکسپلائٹیو اینڈ مور دین کلیئرٹی اٹ کریٹس کنفیوژن ناٹ اونلی فار دا شیئر ہولڈرز دا اسٹیک ہولڈرز بٹ آلسو فار دی لیگل ٹیم اینڈ ان ویئر ایور اے لیگل ڈسپیوٹ از ٹیکن it creates a lot of ambiguity and a lot of confusion secondly what we see was was that it's very important that there should be harmonization between the different tiers uh, of employees and uh, there should be a lot of empathy and sympathy and uh, clear cut policy making for the employees especially those employees who are working uh, at the shop floor who are working at the lower tiers uh, and also for the middle tier and also for the senior tier so that is very important today we are going to take this topic a little bit forward and further see its various implications and how as a result uh, there is an alignment of interest between the employees and the shareholders so that synchronization and that harmonization is facilitated to ensure a better working relationship uh, between the workers and the shareholders this may help make firms more adaptable to the changing environment especially in the context of covid-19 and support the emergence of more transparent and effective corporate governance so as a spillover effect this is what we tend to see and again there is a higher level of responsibility and plus the fact that a greater understanding is created that what should be done and what should not be done so all of these things basically uh, emerge uh, from all of this there are various ways in which equity sharing could be done uh, certain employees uh, are given ownership plans uh, there could be stock bonus plans there could be stock option plans employee buyout and also worker cooperative so these different five uh, frameworks or tools can be applied to the employees uh, shareholding and the simplest one is ownership plans whereby uh, in a structured way the employees are told how and when uh, based upon a specific performance and based upon a certain amount of profit coming into the organization uh, they would become shareholders which is Uh, a distinction of elevation for any employee uh, then there could be stock bonus plans so again what we see is is that there could be different bonus plans which could be sub- sub- subscribed by the employee and they would be able to benefit from them similarly to stock option plans also uh, now another dimension is employee buyout so if an employee has certain shares then the management or the board of directors can offer uh, an x amount for the retrieval Uh, of shares into the uh, organization uh, and then they could be worker cooperatives which is uh, a very positive step uh, and constructive step uh, towards uh, self sufficiency within pakistan and creating platforms which can uh, which can in real life tend to help different people as a result of increasing participation of employees in the organization a company can reap the benefits of increase in productivity uh, the new perspective of wealth creation uh, actually leads to the increase of wealth dis- uh, wealth distribution and the provision of employee share alone is not enough but it must be accompanied by the increasing employee participation in decision making so as earlier said the employee becomes an integral part of the decision making which would ensure that there is better plantation and uh, secondly uh, what we see is that these different employees uh, can then be placed in the right way because they would be motivated to work uh, through the ownership of a particular company now what we see is is that this decision making uh, becomes effective not only in the context of the board but also the top management and also the employees where everyone can become synchronized towards one objective and one particular vision so what we see uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, is that uh, in this whole process through these different uh, schemes these employees can become owners and can become shareholders in the particular wealth of the company now Uh, in voluntary participation uh, employee should not be forced to do anything out of compulsion compulsion by unions or employers may boomerang so what we see is that uh, whenever employees are pushed or convinced to do something then what we see is is that uh, these employees tend to resist and they can then uh, go into agitation and can compromise the productivity and the profits of the organization so over here uh, sometimes the unions tend to be uh, overriding and compelling the employees and sometimes we see 
that the employees can do it in both cases what we see it comes back full circle as a boomerang and can lead to more confusion more chaos and to uh, a lot of negativity rather than towards optimization of profits and the betterment of the organization so uh, it is also extremely important to extend benefits to all employees uh, these benefits should be extended uh, indiscriminately uh, benefits should and can be for select groups uh, and uh, sometimes when they are for select groups they can create dissension and also distrust towards the employer because then they think that there is favoritism then they think that uh, there is uh, nepotism and and discrimination which is taking place which has its own negative con connotation so that is very important that the word all over here is extremely important that everyone should have an opportunity for self growth and also for increasing uh, their own wealth uh, within that particular organization uh, the next point is about clarity and transparency uh, they should be clear and transparent and not too complicated and workers should clearly understand the benefits they will get under the arrangement so again uh, through communication and through interfacing with the employee and through the different social platforms also uh, the organization can convey the benefits uh, that they want to give to the employees their consequences their allied benefits and how is it that it would be uh, submerged uh, and inculcated into their careers that is something which has to be communicated in a better way to enable the workforce to understand what is coming what are the changes what are the consequences and what is the vision uh, of all of this particular activity and that becomes extremely important there there can also be a predetermined formula to work out the number of shares that should be offered and it should not be left to the discretion of any party so again a high level of professionalism a high level of uh, uh, scientific approach of uh, ensuring that uh, frameworks are transparent and again uh, bringing those members who are catalyzed with energy towards uh, this particular objective becomes extremely important another thing that we can look at is regularity there should be some regularity when such offers are made they cannot be made as and when the organization feels like making those of offers uh, the organization should take into consideration the interest of the employees when they are making any decision so basically again we reinforce and reiterate all of this that uh, regularity and also the fact that there should be no discrimination are extremely important components of any employee organization relationship and also in the context of distribution uh, of benefits and emoluments and also seeing that how uh work is distributed and a work life balance can also be created and is there a higher level of fairness within the organization uh, these are extremely important questions which come to mind and then uh, another very important point is clear distinction that there should be uh, preparatory schemes that are offered to employees and uh, also given uh, regular wages and these participatory schemes should not undermine should not uh, under uh, construct or uh, tend to create ambiguity because uh, the employee is basically hinged on to that particular platform or that particular product and therefore if there is uh, some confusion it would result to uh, disgruntled and demotivated employees uh, they should be compatible to, with a uh, worker mobility that is very important uh, that again uh, workers are sometimes uh, shifted around and it becomes very difficult for them to understand uh, the new developments or to even comprehend the new benefits that they are getting and the worker should not be penalized uh, based upon these different schemes which are given to him because the main purpose is to motivate the employee and also to create new opportunities uh, for that employee and his or her particular family so again what we see ladies and gentlemen in these uh, two presentations is that uh, there are uh, many dimensions some are positive some are uh, some are negative secondly uh, there should be no discrimination there should be uh, no favoritism no exploitation Uh, there should be uh, a transparent approach an equitable approach and uh, a empathetic and sympathetic approach whereby the key beneficiary is the worker and in the long run the organization would also benefit by uh, basically uh, uh, ensuring and also catering to the genuine bona fide demands of the workforce or of the laborers or of the employees so that is what uh, this was all about and like i had mentioned earlier that uh, there are 149 laws uh just even just reading them or listing them itself is a challenge and therefore that ambiguity should also be uh finished 
so that uh, better governance can be injected into different organizations thank you so much